Hello, welcome back to Glam Queen of DIY. And if you're new, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you three glamorous high end luxe DIYs using mirror mosaic tile, epoxy rhinestone sheets, and bling wrap. If that sounds interesting, stay tuned. But remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel, turn on your post notifications. All right. Let's get to crafting. For DIY number one, we're gonna pay, take these Dollar Tree stemless wine glasses, these Dollar Tree hurricane vases, my uh, Rust-Oleum two times the coverage gloss white spray paint, my totally dazzle bling wrap in the silver, in my mirror mosaic tile. We're gonna paint these hurricane pieces and I wanna show you how I paint them and we'll be right back. Now for these hurricanes, I'm actually going to spray the inside and I'm going to show you a close up of how I spray it. And I told you I spray in pumps. And as you can see, that's why you should always wear uh, a mask when using paint of any kind because of the blowback of the fumes. So I'm just painting the inside and I'm going to do that hurricane piece like that as well and that stemless wine glass. Now that I have my paint pieces painted, you guys, and again, I did spray paint the inside, we're going to connect the two pieces, and you know I always use some trim to connect my pieces, but I'm going to take off this sticker or this price tag. I will tell you, when you leave the sticker on paint pieces that you join together, it will break down, and that's it will actually cause your piece to separate so we're going to take this off so that we can connect the two pieces always be careful of using a razor blade or a straight razor like myself always use safety first if you're watching and you still haven't become a part of the glam queen of diy hit that subscribe button make sure you tap that bell twice so you know when I am uploading a video. Now that I have that scraped, I'm going to actually use my Fix-All Adhesive. Always use the glue of your choice. I'm gonna put the Fix-All on my Hurricane um, glass and then I'm gonna also add hot glue. I will tell you guys, I have found out as of lately when I mix the glue with the in fact, any type of glue with the hot glue, it actually doesn't give me the longevity that it normally used to. So, for future uh, reference and purposes, I will be gluing my pieces and just using my glue of choice and letting them dry, which would be taking me back to my fix all adhesive. In my personal opinion, fix all, I'm sorry, not fix all, but that E6000 is a better glue to use by far than your fix all adhesive from Dollar Tree. And as you see here, my piece did not connect well together and I'm just pulling off of that hot glue uh, residue so I can reattach the pieces. And I'm actually getting that last piece of glue off, everyone. And for the security of saving my voice, uh, I'm going to let you see what I'm doing. So just follow close up and I'll come in periodically with some instructions. But I'm going to let you see very close up hand exactly what it is that I am doing.
And if you're still watching and you still haven't become part of the Glam Queen of DIY, I do need you to hit that subscribe button. Tap that bell twice and you'll know every time that I am uploading a video. Also, too, please check out that Glam Queen of Decor. And Glam Queen of Decor gives you all things home decor. That's going to be room styling, home tours, table and coffee table styling, uh, home decor house, anything in the field of home decor. You will get it on the Glam Queen of Decor. And also, please check out Glam Queen Unboxing. Now, everything that is purchased in my home, if you want to know where it came from, you have to check out Glam Queen Unboxing. Now, if you're not subscribed to all of the channel, why don't you do so today? We truly would appreciate it.
Now this completes DIY number one. Drop me a comment if you're liking DIY number one and tell me what you like best about it. And you know me, I had to do two because I am a symmetrical girl. I love symmetry. So just leave me a comment. And again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so at this time. For DIY number two, we're going to take this vase and I'm actually going to spray paint it. This is a vase I haul. Make sure you check out the video on Glam Queen Unboxing. And I'm taking this white mirror cow paint and my mirror mosaic tile. We're going to paint the vase and we'll be right back. All right, now DIY number two, I have spray painted the vase. And you guys, this vase is truly gorgeous. You can see the leaf details uh, very well on this vase. I was going to add some embellishments to it, but after painting the vase, I'm not going to add anything. So for the mirror, I'm scratching at as well. So for DIY number two, it's just going to be a spray paint up cycle. You guys, everything that you want to DIY or just upcycle, some things just requires just a little bit of paint. And if you haven't already subscribed to Glam Queen of DIY, make sure you subscribe. Also subscribe to Glam Queen of Decor and Glam Queen Unboxing. DIY number three, we're going to take this face and we're going to spray paint it with the rust them two times coverage gloss white and a mirror mosaic tile once we paint it we'll be right back before i spray paint my face a lot of my pieces i haven't showed you but i normally clean my pieces with alcohol so i'm just cleaning up this vase now once i literally finish this we will be painting this vase
we're adding this last strip of mirror to the top portion of this crushed epoxy to complete DIY number three. Now this completes DIY number three. Let me know in the comments what you like about DIY number three. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you've been rocking with your girl for a while, you know I can't close out without letting you know to always, always, always be positive so you can remain productive and stay positioned to make your next move your best move. I'll see you in another video. Bye everyone, stay blessed and always stay positive.